class. Uh, today is the 13th day of May 2019, and we are on to group uh, two that will be making the presentations of their doctoral uh, research proposal. Uh, we have a list of people who will be presenting, and uh, we that's it. We have the Zako Bashonga, but because Masirika will be traveling, we have decided to take uh, Masirika uh, first. So, Mr. Masirika, are you ready for your presentation? Yes, I am ready, sir. Okay, that's fine. Can you switch on your video? At the uh, meantime, let me load your presentation. Yeah. All right, so we right. have uh, Masirika Joseph. He's going to give his presentation uh, in a minute. Uh, we're loading his uh, slides. So, Joseph, you have the floor. Please present. Thank you, Professor. Good Thank morning, everybody. Uh, the title of my thesis is Ecology, Biology, and Sustainable Management of Bagrus Dogmark for the Lakes Edward and Albert in the Nile Basin uh, in DR Congo. Uh, for this research question, we have three research questions. What are the biological and ecological characteristics of the bagrass dogmark of Lake Edward and Albert? What would be the diet of bagrass dogmark of Lake Edward and Albert? How are the different specimens in the different size classes and what type of growth prevails in this environment? And from those Main questions, we have three sub-questions. What are the physical, chemical characteristics of water? What are the poor fishing practices in the capture? What guidelines should be proposed for conservation and sustainable management of these species? In terms of methodology, we are going to study, the study population is mainly made of fishers, fisheries managers, local leaders. In terms of target population, we are, talking, uh, we are targeting fish species of barbarous dogmark and other species of fish, and secondly, fishers who will be interviewed. Uh, in terms of sample population, lakes managers, local and provincial authorities, direct and indirect users, fishermen, are the sample of population. In terms of technique of sampling, six big sites in land sites were being chosen, three in each site from the northern, middle, and south. And uh, main, two main criteria were being used to select those six big sites, uh, mainly the size of fish species catches in the fishing village, and secondly, the proximity of the site with the main consumption cities. There, in terms of uh, data collect gathering techniques, we are using uh, parameters such as characterization of aquatic habitat, identification of living fish samples with various technique analysis, such experimental fishing, biological study, genetical analysis, and statistics analysis. In terms of instrumentation, useful instrumentation are mainly scientific instruments and humanities instruments. For scientific instruments, you can say... Uh, no, 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 you don't need to go to... No, 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 don't read all these scientific instruments. Just go on to your data analysis techniques. Exactly. A data analysis technique we need to, gen to do the genetic analysis of fish species gathered will be, will be done thanks to polymerization technique. Specimen tissue shall be collected thanks to the extraction of ETN tissues. The study is analysis done with Excel, R, and password software. Habitat. Water quality parameters will be done using a mobile exploitation and management practices to be used with data from surveys and catch assessment survey will be edited and analyzed through Excel, Excel. Thank you so very much. 
Thank you very much. Uh, that is very wonderful. Can we clap for him? Can we clap for him? Wonderful. Yeah, that is it. Uh, can, can we? Uh, do we have questions for him? Do we have questions for him? All right, uh, Joseph. I've enjoyed your presentation, and uh, I'm wondering why you chose the species of fish that you'll be. Uh, working on. Why did you choose the, those species? Yes, S thank you, sir, for the question. I chose this Bagris map because it's one of the the main fish that are consumed in the area. Wow. But men of one of them, one of the main catch fishes in those two lakes. Wow. This is why I want to work on them, not only to know the ecological status, but also to see how they are exploited and to promote uh, sustainable management of the species in very these two lakes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Joseph. That we brought up Joseph. He was number 13 to present, but because he's traveling today, we have decided to let him present so that he can uh, travel. We wish you a very safe trip, and uh, we'll see you in class uh, soon. Okay, bye-bye now. Thank you, Pro. We'll get back to our our list. And uh, let us see who is uh, presenting next. Yeah, now that we are through with uh, our first presenter, now let's go on to Denzako. Denzako, uh, I can hear you say you are ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, very good. So uh, we are loading you now. Uh, so what is happening? We're seeing, I, I wish, I don't know what I'm seeing here. Anyway, you have the floor to present. I don't know how, what is happening on your screen, because we are seeing the screen. So you have the floor to present, Denzako Eugene. Yes, thank you very much for this opportunity. We're not seeing, my, we are, my... we're only seeing your, your computer. We're not seeing your face. We're only seeing, I don't know where your camera is. Go on, go on, please, so that will save time. Go on. go on, please, go on. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much for this opportunity. From my te my, my te the stage title, which is the depiction and the uh, localization of landslides in the Bujumbura region, yeah, I just, formulated no, two just a minute. questions. Uh, no, just a minute, just a minute. We asked you to do only three slides. Now you have five slides, you think. What is happening? Five you, slides? You have five slides. Anyway, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. I said uh, from my site, which is the detection, uh, localization, the characterization of the landslide in the Wujumpura region, I formulated these two research questions. The first one is the detection, localization, and the characterization of landslide in the rift region. And the second one is the identification of causes of landslide in the Wujumpura region. For the design of my thesis, first of all, I will use the data collected with an infrasound, an infrasound sender. And also, I will use data from a seismic station. And the sampling station, um, the sampling techniques I will use, first of all, I will deploy on the lens the, the infrasound sensor. And the seismic station is already operating on the Kiri campus of the University of Burundi. For the data analysis, I will use the latest techniques which is used to analyze this, the infrasound data, the so-called the antenna analysis techniques. And for the seismic data, I will go through more techniques because this one is very complicated. I will have to learn more things and I will handle them so that I can compare the infrasound data and the, uh, the seismic data. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we are not able to see you. I think somebody is just uh, uh, putting the camera on your, <laughs> on your computer. We can't see you. It doesn't matter though. So we have listened to uh, Eugene. Um, uh, can we first of all clap for him for his presentation? Uh, I think he's done very well. Yes. yes. Do, do we have questions for him? Uh, the first thing, for instance, is that 
you are supposed to have only three slides. Unfortunately, you have five, let's see now. You actually have seven slides. Uh, second thing is that you did not give us the title of your, uh, of your thesis on your, on your first slide. Uh, I think next time, Eugene, you should try to follow uh, the instructions like the others uh, have done. Uh, but more importantly, it's about the your methodology. I think your methodology is uh, 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 very good. Uh, your design uh, has to do with detecting and localizing uh, characterization of landslides in Bujumbura, uh, which is uh, why yes. is this, why is this important, Eugene? Why is it important uh, about this seismic data? This is important because. According to the geography of Bujumbura region, first yes, of all, the, the city is in the, the valley, yes. and the, the surround is, is composed by mountains. Oh, and sometimes, wow. and the more, also more time, there are landslides which are threatening people, yes. and they cause a lot of people living, living, uh, human living, and yes. also causes economic losses. Oh. And this is a matter for now, as the city is expanding and expanding uh, along the, the mountains, yes. it is better to understand what, what are the causes of this landslide and maybe characterize the, uh, the risk regions so that we can avoid them or recommend some type of reconstruction we can be built on that kind of lands. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You have answered this question beautifully. You know, I've been in Bujumbura, you know, with all the hills. So you need that kind of data for, uh, because it'll be last slides and yeah. all that. So this, your study is very important. And I'd like to congratulate you for following this line of inquiry. Congratulations. Okay. So yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll move on now. Yes, our next presenter is Bashunga, but Bashunga is not here. So we'll move on to Pacific, who has announced that he's already in class. Okay, so we're going to take uh, Pacific, uh, and uh, let me load his presentation. Uh, he's already standing by to present his proposal. Uh, let's see now. Yes, Pacific, please take the floor. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Professor. Thank you very much. Series, my thesis title is Sustainable Management of Natural Resources in Kaus Biega National Park, Dear Congo, in a context of conflict. The third question is the first one How can the bordering and the genus battle be rabbit? access to natural resources, land, and biodiversity that um, impact the sustainable management of the park natural resources. The second one is how can traditional local resilience mechanisms of park holding indigenous patwa access natural resources, land, and biodiversity park the sustainable management of the parks that's the resources. Can you take the last one? The and last one. Take the last mm -hmm. third question. Take the last third question. Yes, hello. How can how 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 can stakeholders participate to promote this for existence in reconciling sustainable management of Natural resources with the well being of park holding indigenous battle. The topology. We are going to, to, to make interview within the indigenous people, park managers, and other stakeholders. We are going to examination of legal disputes. This data will be complemented with survey. And social economic survey, identification of stakeholders and a group of focus and children's people. Uh, we are going to do the three dimension modeling, the digitization of information provided 
by the indigenous people ordering will be treated in the soft way at Cheers 9.3. Uh, Wakatana assessment adopted in accordance with RCN resolution 4048 and 4052 at the local level in 2011-2011. Uh, the criteria and indicators in the context of conflict will be defined and test it in a past practice or manner. Okay, fine. Now, we have a lot of this thing on data analysis. Just pick one or two. Just tell us one or two. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, a a, a three-dimensional three modeling map that serves a tool for dialogue and the Wakatana system to focus with and additional part of community to provide recommendation to address the gap between our services, practices and the new paradigm of conservation. The indicators of criteria derived from the gaps were the assessment compiled principle of new paradigm of conservation to be identified. Thank you, Prof. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Can we clap for him? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, do we have questions for Pacific Mukumba? Uh, I, I think his uh, presentation is very clear, and uh, the methodology is also appropriate. I actually like your research questions, and uh, uh, we'll be following up with the method of data analysis in our next uh, in our next class. So uh, I think that is fine. Prime Nyongabo, can you switch off your video? Prime is switching off his switch, switching on his video. He's not supposed to switch on his video yet. Prime Nyongabo. Anyway, uh, so thank you very much again, Pacific Mukumba. Uh, so we we'll go on to thank you. We we'll go on to the next uh, presenter. Oh yes, our next presenter is uh, Jack uh, Madambi. Uploading it presentation. Now we are excited about the study and we will. Yes, so Mazambi Lutete, you have the floor. Yes. We are waiting for you. Uh, I can begin. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Um, my research proposal title is the influence of uh, environmental factors on the biology of the fishes on the Kivu Lake Little Zone, east of DR Congo. A research question, uh, in order to study the biology of the fishes on the Little Zone of Kivu Lake and to characterize the waters as the volcanic we asked, we asked ourselves some question. How is the water's physical chemistry of the little zone characterized? Can the branding periods of four Lake Kivu little fish be indicated? How is the growth of the species characterized? What are the characteristics of the various habitats of this fish in the little zone of Kivu Lake? What are the relationship between the environmental condition and the fish morphometrical parameters? The methodology, we take on the old teacher, tip of study is the how we study covers several aspects. Our study uh, covers several aspects. It is analytic and descriptive. Uh, the population, the study population consists of fish samples taken from Kivu Lake in two basin, Bukav Basin, Basin, and the uh, Ishung Basin. A target population, uh, the most affected species are Lampictis tanganicanus and uh, Limnotrisa miodo. 
uh, other species are taken as secondary species. Some sample population is the sample will be made up more by male and the females, especially during periods of reproductive activity. Uh, the techniques is the fish will be sampled by experimental fishing using gill nets, batteries, uh, long lines, trap, and object gear will be used as well. A data collection techniques, a physical chemi a chemical parameters will be measured in city using a multi-parametric probes in the lab. For example, for example, uh, the characteristic of the sampling sites will be taken to characterize the environmental factors. It will be a question of recording the take the state of bank vegetation, state of salts, uh, and so on. The phys physical chemistry of the sampling seeds, the depth, the state of bottom, and the anthropology of activities. Okay, now for this the analysis data analysis, techniques, yes. just, take, just take one, because there are so many here. Just take one, one. major one, yes, just Only. take any one. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. A uh, parametric props, uh, for example, it will be taken with the lab, and the determination of laying period will be done by calculating the gonatosomatic ratio. Uh, later, it is uh, defined by Bougie, uh, 1952. Uh, statistical analysis will be done in all cases to compare the different types of data according to periods and the season. The software to use will be SPSS uh, or Studio Past. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Uh, Jack uh, Mazambi have enjoyed your presentation, <coughs> and I'm sure that all members of the class have also enjoyed it. Uh, it's a very good uh, study you have. You have indicated uh, your procedure. It is very, very clear. And uh, uh, we will be looking at your uh, data analysis in, our, in another class that we'll, we'll be taking on. Because we are taking on data analysis in class this week. And you said you use SPSS. So we're going to learn yes. more into how you use SPSS. Once again, thank you. Can we congratulate uh, Jack Mazambi? Can we congratulate? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, we're going to take on our next presenter. Yeah. So our next presenter is Alexandria, and uh, let's open his presentation. Uh, Alexandria, you have the floor. Please present. Alexandria, please. Present. I am here, but. I said, please yeah. present. Please present. What being gamma? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, my topic is the valorization of cattle waste, cow horn bones, and uh, palm nut shells to make antidotes to treat poison in the eastern DR Congo. And all the different research questions are three. The first one is Is there any significant difference between locally made antidote from Taurus and that of AFA in terms of both? blood and stomach pH variation. The second one is which one between, which one between adsorption, adsorption and chelation is the most process involving in poison elimination. And the last one is what is the letter dose of the selected locally made antidote between the two tested. Now for methodology, the design design is the research story design is we lose a, a laboratory pilot scale studies, which will involve poison injection to animals of 250 grams weight each one per animal cohort. Now there we will use two, uh, two groups for, for um, uh, to test the different uh, uh, parameters. Okay. We will get for per group we get nine uh, Guinea pigs yes. that will be used for each antidote formula with three guinea pigs 
control against six experimented guinea pigs and a prepared poison solution and one mil of antidote will be injected to the left high type of each experimented animal observed during 44 hours and for, uh, so, sorry 24 hours and 48 hours and draw conclusion after result comparison okay. and for a uh, study population we the population of the whole south kivu province in eastern democratic republic of congo uh, constitute our study population the target population is the inhabitant of Bukavu town capital of the, the south kivu province for sample population, because it is a, a study that will involve animal model. Yeah, we'll okay. Get, uh, we'll, uh, you we'll see, do what, what you have done, uh, oh, that, no, that is fine. I, I really like this. But you have uh, put, this slide will have been the one earlier. So just summarize this slide, because you have said, you've said uh, a lot about your methodology. The research design has also actually covered yeah. quite a lot of these things. So just summarize this, this uh, slide. Okay. Yeah. After getting after uh, uh, getting the pH, the pH, the blood pH and saliva pH from uh, from animals, that now we will extend this result to human being okay. because it is not allowed to, to use people before testing to animals. Oh. And as uh, that analysis, we will compare, we we'll compare means, and we compare also variance. We we'll use ANOVA and T student to compare to compare different values and then extend to people. Thank Excellent. you very much. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, Alexandra, uh, be, be careful about the pausing. Uh, take every care uh, to protect yourself and your <laughs> research assistants. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Right. So uh, that's Alexandra. Good presentation. Yeah. Can we take an empire? An empire, are we there? Are we here? Yeah. Yes, I, I'm here. Okay, oh, that's sorry. fine. So we are loading Limpai now. <laughs> Wonderfully, we're ready to listen to your presentation on governance and performance of social security organizations, the case of Burundian organizations, the public nature. So I've read your title for you, so you don't need to read the title again. So take the floor, Emery Limpai, yeah. take the floor. Thank you, Professor. Yes. Uh, the topic is... No, no, uh, no don't read the topic and, again. Yes. No, I've read the topic for you. Don't read the topic okay. again. Just go on. Okay. The next slide, yeah. Thank, thank you. Uh, about uh, research questions, the main question for our research will be the following. Uh, what governance in adopted, uh, is adopted uh, to further consolidate the performance and social security organizations. Yes. Uh, in other words, uh, what uh, type of governance, administrative and financial, to ensure in Burundian uh, social uh, security organization uh, that uh, would grant a constant improvement of performance, uh, economic, social, and financial? Uh, from this general question, uh, I identify the following uh, specific questions. Uh, first, specific questions, uh, which is the most optimal between the completely separate, uh, separate financial uh, and administrative management and the combined uh, one of the sessions uh, managed uh, by social security organizations. Okay. Uh, the second uh, specific question, uh, what uh, governance model uh, should be adopted uh, to improve uh, concomitantly uh, the financial, economic, and social uh, performance uh, of the social uh, security organizations? Now, what you'll do, but, you just spend, just summarize the next slide, your methodology. Just give us any two. Just talk about uh your sampling technique and data analysis technique that's all for this slide please go on okay uh about uh, uh sampling technique yes. uh, they have, uh i identified uh, <coughs> uh the, the, the 
the technique. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I think what we should do. Yeah, I'm sorry, please. Just a minute. I think what we should do is uh, take your research design and target population. Research design and target population. Uh, yeah, my, my research design uh, is uh, about modeling the governance uh, and performance relationship. Good. Target the population. Be, uh, the target uh, population is uh, stakeholders in the social security, uh, including the details of the, the organizations, uh, the employees, and the the salaries uh, of funds, uh, the salaries of the, 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 the social uh, security borders. Okay, now let's look at your data gathering technique. How will you collect your data? Uh, I, 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 I will use uh, documentary technique, uh, observation, observation. <laughs> Technique, yes. uh, interview technique, yes. and uh, sampling technique. Very good. Data analysis technique. Can you go to your data analysis? How will you analyze your data? We are looking at the last uh, segment here. Uh, thank, thank you, Professor. Uh, I, I will use a describe, a descriptive method, a comparative method, uh, structural functional method, sure. uh, analytical and uh, synthetic method, yes. uh, comprehensive or, or quantitative method, sure. and stat statistical method yes. are used in the store. Yeah, yes. I, I think that's all right. I think that's all right. That's a very good. I like your suit, by the way, Emery. I like your suit. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like your suit. Your suit. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank you. Yes, thank thank you. you. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, well done. Uh, your your study is very clear. Your study proposal is well uh, well explained and well laid out. And I noticed that you'll be using SPS. So in another class, I'll be te teaching you a few more things about SPS so that it can help you in your research. Once again, congratulations. Can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> very dark. Well, yeah. Thank you. So we are moving on to Prime. Prime, are you ready? Prime? Prime yes, sir. Yes, Professor. Okay. I am here. Okay, yes, that's, Professor. Okay, that's fine, Prime. I am so let's, let's take on Prime now. And Prime, uh, yes, you have a wonderful... You have three slides to follow the instructions. So, Prime, take the floor. You have take the floor. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this uh, occasion to uh, talk about my proposal. Yes. And my thesis title is related to the problem of the independence of uh, judiciary power in Burundi law. Okay. I remember, my research is a systematic search for answers for a particular problem yes. or question. Yes. If I write a proposal, researcher must take time to reflect uh, on the key questions that he is called to seek to answer. And I have uh, two kind of uh, questions. First of all, central questions, question uh, relates to the way in which Burundian law guarantee uh, the independence of the justice. Okay. About the research questions, uh, which are specific, first is do constitutional provision guarantee the independence of the justice, justice in Burundi? Second, how do the other uh, legal framework, uh, uh, I mean other texts of the uh, to implement the constitution uh, can contribute to guaranteeing the independence of justice uh, in Burundi. And number three, three, what is the relationship between the independence of the judicial power and the guarantee of the human rights? And finally, what can be done to make the independence of the justice in Burundi a reality? Uh, about the methodology, yes. uh, this study uh, will be carried out through descriptive uh, design by focusing on a docu uh, documentary approach. The purpose uh, sampling will be uh, used to obtain 
uh, key information. Uh, the analysis of nation, national, regional, and international law cases, uh, data collection through questionnaire and interview shadda, uh, with key persons. Uh, yeah, with key persons in justice. I'm sorry, cases. I'm sorry. No, I can see it here. With key persons in justice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was telling about the data analysis. Uh, when I will use questionnaire and uh, uh, interview shadda, uh, focusing on uh, key persons like those persons who are involved in the justice system, uh, like uh, uh, those persons in civil uh, society, in the uh, bar organ, and those beneficiaries of uh, justice Okay, that's service. fine, that's fine. Please go on, go on, go on. Your time is almost uh, up. And, uh, some uh, descriptive statics like Excel or SPSS. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's uh, congratulate him on, uh, uh, on a very wonderful presentation. Uh, uh, so thank you. Uh, is there any question for him at this stage? Maybe be towards the end. Maybe you have questions for him. Uh, but, uh, so can we then go on to the next question? Uh, we have taken yes. Prime. We have taken you. Uh, uh, Oscar, are you there? Yeah. So we already have Roger. Uh, Roger is standing by. Roger Binzaka, and uh, he's going to give presentation. Make his presentation. Uh, let's load your PowerPoint slides. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, Roger, you have the floor. Please present. Uh, good. Uh, my proposal title is uh, Cognitive Activation and Time Management in Higher Education, a Contribution to Education Quality in Goma. At uh, this title, I suggest three questions. Mm -hmm. The first one is how do higher education teachers in the Goma area understand quality insurance mm. in relation to the cognitive activation teaching practice? The second question is, what is the level of cognitive activation attained by the teachings of teachers of higher education in Goma? Okay. The third is, what would be the explanation for variation in the didactical practice of cognitive activation of students and to verify this question and the methodology i will work with teachers from uh, from higher education in goma area the sample technique will be, uh, I will take a sample random of a institution because the teachers are working in this institution. Okay. And at another level, at, I will stratify uh, teachers according to their grade, according to their spe specialization. Yes. And to collect, uh, to collect, co for collecting data, I will use uh, for the first question, interview, mm -hmm. to understand how teachers understand uh, quality insurance mm -hmm. in relation to cognitive activation. Mm -hmm. And to the second question, the what, what uh, which level is attained by teachings, I will use observation grade. Mm -hmm. And I will use uh, uh, a dictaphone to register to uh, to register interview. Okay. So for for analyzing mm -hmm. data, I will use two approach. The first one it will be the qualitative approach for analyzing data. I will transcribe all interviews and then I will transport them to in vivo in vivo for analyzing qualitative data. And for quantitative data, I will use SPSS mm -hmm. doc, for, 
for analyzing uh, result or data from observation grade. Yes. I will use SPSS and there I will use specifically factor analysis by correspondence analysis. Okay. Thank you, dear professor and dear colleagues. Thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I can hear you clapping. I think this is very wonderful. Uh, you talk about cognitive activation strategy. Can you very briefly explain what it is? Uh, cognitive activation strategy, uh, when teachers are teaching, some of teachings, or they are in the context of globalization now, yes. we need to know what competence how competent are students yes. from our institution? How competent they are? So, at, to be competent, teachers need to activate them, to stimulate them mm -hmm. in higher level yes. by, by, by giving them uh, some... some uh, by implicate them in their instruction. Wonderful. So, I yeah. understand it. That, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's very good. I'm very excited about your yeah. study because I, I'm also in, in this kind of uh, quality assurance, uh, cognitive activation yeah. thing. So I, I, I will, uh, if you need any kind of technical assistance, I'll be very happy to uh, support yeah. you. Thank you very much again. Thank you, Roger Binzaka. So we're going on now to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. We go on now to. Uh, uh, he didn't put his name there. Ndabi Hongi, are you there? Ndabi Hongi, are you there? Okay, he's not there. Pierre, Pierre Nkuriki, are you there? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm here. Okay, that's fine. Just hang on. Yeah, we can see uh, that uh, Pierre, my namesake, Nkuriki, is already standing by. So <laughs> uh, I will just load your presentation and uh, we'll be good to go. So uh, you ca can you please just summarize a lot of this thing? Uh, your research questions, maybe you pick, pick the best, the, the two, any two, and then the next slide and so on. So please, you have the floor now, Pierre Mkuriki. Yeah, thank you, Professor. My pleasure. My, my, the title of my thesis is the primacy of the best interest of the child mm. in decisions concerning him in the Burundi. All right. uh, my research questions are, what is the true content of the concept of the best interest of the child? Uh -huh. uh, second question, how the best interests of the child are determined? Okay. Uh, how decisions about children taking take, take into consideration the best interest in Burundi? Okay. What can influence taking into account the best interest of the child in Burundi mm. and the, what investments need to be made in laws, institutions, and good practices to better reflect the best interest of the child decision that affects him in Burundi as a poorest country? So, uh, my methodology. Yeah, just, just hang on now. Just, just a minute. You see, your methodology, just take. Uh, your de your design, you, you don't have to read all of these things on this slide. It will take too long for you to read them. So just ju just take on uh, uh, a few lines here. Ju just take on uh, your sample population and the, your, your uh, data gathering technique. Yeah, so take on your sample population and your data gathering technique. Please go on. Okay, so, so um, my 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 methodology, I will going to analyze documentary about uh, uh, the content of laws about uh, childhood and general and the, the best interest okay. of the child, and I will also analyze decisions taken by Burundi institutions okay. since one thousand nine hundred and ninety, uh, because it's. This is the time when Burundi has been part to convention, the international convention of the, the child okay. protection of the protection for the child. So I will also uh, make interviews to uh, actors in uh, child rights. Uh, I, I will also 
make interviews with uh, child rights actors, mm -hmm. and, and uh, abroad, uh, abroad I will send questionnaires, mm -hmm. and and uh, and I will analyze this, this what I will find, I will, I will analyze it uh, by using documentary analysis techniques yes. and the Okay. Okay, that is very fine. I really like this. Uh, let's clap for him. He has done very well. You have the. Uh, That's very nice. Uh, he, has, uh, he has all the details uh, on this uh, on this slide, uh, on the on the last slide, and uh, we are quite happy with it. Uh, we wish you a very successful Pierre Kurikie. Uh, very successful implementation of this research plan. You know that in the next lesson we'll be doing data analysis, so we'll be continuing with this work. Once again, congratulations, congratulations. All right. So thank let's you, say, thank you. So, so Te, are you there? So Te, 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 Te. Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, just give a minute. Yes, yeah, so we can see. So Te is standing by. He's ready there. And uh, we will open his presentation. And uh, so, so Terry, you have the floor. Please present your proposal. Thank you, Professor. My pleasure. Yes, I'm going to work on uh, analysis of soil, water, and nutrient dynamics in a coffee-based agroforestry system. Okay. And my research questions are: uh, Do the shed trees? in coffee farms contribute to optimal coffee production and here are there any better indigenous species in this respect uh, does the applied subcultural management practices lead to optimization of the productions of the different components of this agroforestry system or does uh, the shed coffee lead more satisfaction uh, to farmers in terms of uh, food security. Do you find better physical, chemical, soil, moisture, and uh, fertility conditions in uh, this uh, coffee? So my methodology will be a randomly selection of coffee farms mm -hmm. in uh, the area that I have chosen. Good. And this will be uh, both shaded and unshaded. And from these, will be some. We do some typology using a questionnaire, okay. and then we you, we go on description of these shading trees in this farm okay, using some evaluation criteria such as species, uh, height, and diameter, and so on. Mm -hmm. We'll do some soil description uh, after profile digging, and this will be done using soil mass color chart, knife, meter, and so on. We'll do some sampling, soil sampling, and here we use the soil sampling kit for both disturbed and undisturbed samples. Yes. And this, this will be put in some plastic bags. We will have to label them and uh, bring them into lab. Okay, can you summarize, this? Can you summarize this page? Uh, your time is not... Yes. Please, uh, Here, uh, after this, the uh, lab analysis, we also have to do some uh, yield samples. And then all of these data will be analyzed Good. using some statistic software. Yeah. And the, some uh, some analysis will be done like Q square test or correlation analysis or principal component analysis wherever applicable. Yeah. Thank you. Professor. Yeah. Exactly. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Sotir. Thank you very much. Uh, you, by the way, your English Thank is you. very very good, and your proposal Thank is you. clear. Your proposal is very very clear. Uh, you did say you Thank were using uh, some statistical tools like principal component analysis and all yeah. like that. Uh, I, I will be giving you people some more training in uh, this statistical analysis. So you will uh, benefit from that. Once again, 
very, very well done. Uh, I, I like the research questions yeah, and I like the method training. which you have uh, indicated you used to implement. Well done, well done. Uh, let's move on to Masirika. Masirika, Joseph, are you there? Yeah, I think he was here earlier. Masirika, are you there? Okay, Masirika Joseph is not here. Ladislas, are we there? Yes, Professor, I'm okay, here. Ladislas, okay, very nice. So let's take on Ladislas. Uh, and uh, we have the slide. Yeah, you, you have the you have the floor, Ladislas. Okay. Yes. yes, thank you, Professor. Thank Good you. morning. Good morning to you all. Uh, as my research professor is uh, about mathematics. Uh, my study is a subject of study of uh, exceptional uh, polynomials. Uh, I already done uh, the zero of one scans of Hermit polynomials. Mm -hmm. And now in this study, uh, I'm going to move uh, with uh, exceptional cases of Jacobi and uh, Lager. Yeah. But now I will improve what I did uh, in my, during my master's thesis uh, because now I'm going to, to do approximation approximation theory with those family of exceptional polynomials. Uh, what is the approximation? Approximation is about how functions can be approximated with uh, functions quantitatively characterized the laws introduced there about. What are we, what is my methodology? Okay. Uh, my methodology, uh, I will use some books and the papers already exist in the area of uh, orthogonal polynomials, mm -hmm. but as I need to have some thoughts, uh, I will use some software uh, like Mathematica or Maple mm -hmm. because I wanted to use plots to explain the theory. Good. The last thing I mentioned here, but I don't know if, if it, uh, it is uh, like a methodology, mm -hmm. I will also admit my supervisor to have Wonderful. Uh, some progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ladislas. Thank you, Ladislas. Thank you, Ladislas. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I'm sure you know that Professor Juma Shabani is a mathematical physicist. Uh, I'm sure it's going to also yes, be... Yes, yes, uh, mathematics. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. So uh, we have enjoyed your presentation and wish you well uh, in your proposal implementation. Thank you, Ladislas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is Mdanguimana uh, online? Mdanguimana, are you there? Okay, I can't find Mdanguimana now. Uh -oh. Let's see. Okay, so we already have a uh, protest. Mdaguimana, uh, I'm going to load this presentation and then uh, we will have a wonderful close to our virtual, live virtual class today. So you have the floor now, Protest Mdaguimana. Yes. Yes. Thank yes, me start on, directly on the question. First question, uh, the future technologies such as the quantum computers will be able to decrypt many of these coded messages and threaten the security of less advanced protocol. Okay. This is the question. So what to do? Second question, when the quantum technologies emerge, what will be the role of new generation of cryptographic tools? Okay. First question with post quantum cryptography. Classical information security system will allow users to access the service, verify the identities of other users and the organization, and they authenticate the origin and the integrity of software and the other data. Okay. Those are questions. Yeah. So about the methodology. Yes, sorry, uh, protest for methodology. Yeah. You have so many things here. Just mention yes. two. Just mention any two that you have on this slide. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Okay, that's fine. Very good. Yes. 
Uh, quantitatively, uh, the performance of some algorithms used to encrypt decrypt information with the classic computers will be uh, analyzed in score result after the result. Yes. Electronic address like email, website will be available to welcome user suggestions. Okay. Uh, about the uh, data, anal uh, data analysis, anal analysis technique, as data analysis technique, the appropriate software is already uh, proposed and available. Of course, it will be the IBM SPSS Statistic 25. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I thought we'll give it is as a round of applause. Uh, he's doing a wonderful. Yeah, he's doing a wonderful study, a wonderful study on encryption, and uh, that is the way to go uh, in terms of security of uh, websites, of our networks, and all of that. So, congratulations, uh, uh, Protest and Thank you very much. Yeah, we look forward to a very, a very wonderful, very wonderful uh, study. Uh, so, that, yeah. Just give me a minute now. Give me a minute. Yeah, all right, class. That brings us to the end of uh, group uh, two, uh, live virtual class number three. Uh, I'm sorry, you you had to. I want to wake you up early. Uh, running the class at yeah. uh, uh, 5 a.m. GMT, but is it that, that that's the nature of uh, online world? You know, we are we're ready anywhere we are in the world. I, participants. Uh, members of the class are from Ghana, from Nigeria, from Burundi, from DRC, and everywhere. So I'd like to thank you for being part of this class, and I look forward uh, to seeing you in the next virtual class. Uh, from me, I have a question. question. Yes, question, yes. Go ahead. Yes, yes, uh, I'm Pacific. I, I, I want to know if we, if we can uh, hope to have a comment uh, uh, to our proposal, yes, we we sent you. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm I'm already uh, working on that. I've already I've I've marked some. I've I've uh, some of you have got your scores because what I've done is to get three people, three uh, experts to be uh, marking your uh, your proposal, yeah. and that is going on now. Yeah. So within a week, you get yeah. a feedback on all your proposals. From okay. experts in your field, is that okay? Yes, yeah. Okay. Thank you. A, 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 another question is about uh, uh, for feedback. Yes. About uh, some uh, course. Yes. Which which ch ch channel we can send to you the feedback uh, if we have some question? Oh, that, that that's fine. Okay, I, I will I will respond to that by way of a mail to everybody everybody uh, uh, before the end of this week. Is that all right? Okay, yes. All right. Yes. Thank you all. Have a nice day and uh, bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.